Our next speaker is the chairman of For America, the largest online grassroots organization in the country fighting Obamacare with more than 3.3 million, million fans, uh, Mr. Brent Bozell. Thank you, Scott. Senators, Congressmen, good to see you. Thank you, Roy, for having us, and you good people from Mississippi, thanks so much for coming out on a hot day. Um, Obamacare is, quote unquote, heading for a train wreck. That wasn't said by a conservative Republican. That was said by Montana Senator Max Baucus, who, is the, who was the Senate's lead sponsor and architect of this awful law. Where is Roger Wicker? Where is that Cochran on this train wreck? It seems like they want something to happen because they tell you every day that they're against Obamacare, they want it repealed, they want it defunded. But now they are refusing to stop it while telling you Mississippians that they're doing everything possible to do so. Some of the president's closest liberal allies like Teamster Union President James Hoffa, were early endorsers of this government takeover of health care. Now even they are against it. Hoffa says, a union president says, Obamacare will, quote, destroy the foundation of, 40, of the 40-hour work week that is the backbone of the American middle class. And he says, quote, it will hurt millions of Americans. Senator Wicker, Senator Co Cochran, you could stop this disaster. Why don't you? Right. Polls have consistently shown a majority of Americans do not want this disastrous law and would like to have it repealed. Yet all Democrats and some Republicans think the people of Mississippi and hardworking Americans all across our nation should have to pay for it. Yeah. Senator Wicker, Senator Cochran, you're saying by your inaction that the people of Mississippi, the people who voted you to the United States Senate, have to abide by this awful law and have to pay for it. The only way to stop this train wreck is for Senator Wicker, Senator uh, Cochran, and other Republicans in Congress to stand up and say, enough. We're not going to force the American people to pay for this monstrosity. Defund this monstrosity, Senator Wicker. Defund this monstrosity, Senator Cochran, and do it now. Look, the wheels are coming off Obamacare, but it's doing nothing but hurt America. Look at the things that are coming out every day. Delta Airlines has come out and they've estimated that the cost Obamacare is going to cost Delta Airlines alone, in one year alone, $100 million. What do you think is going to happen to the employees of Delta? They are going to be laid off and made part-time. That's the only solution, as well as prices going up. UPS is telling thousands of employees that it will no longer offer health care to their spouses, because they can't. On and on it goes. But it turns out that not everyone is going to have to experience the pain of Obamacare. Obama and his Democratic allies have given out one exemption after another to their cronies and their friends. The Obama administration has unilaterally, and I believe illegally, exempted big business from having to comply with the law that the unions are asking for an exemption from and you deserve an exemption from. And did you hear that this Congress, this Congress a few weeks ago, these same senators and congressmen who have told you how awful this law is and have pledged to you that they will do everything to get you the exemption you need. They gave themselves an exemption, but it's not good enough for you. Senator Wicker and Senator of Congress and the rest of the Congress shouldn't have to be the ones exempting themselves. They should be the ones who are exempting the American people. There is one chance left with the continuing resolution next month to defund it. To say we will fund everything in the government as much as we don't like so much that they're doing. We will fund everything, not Obamacare. 
And if the president wants to close down the government, try explaining that to the American people, Mr. President. There's very little time. Massive amounts of taxes, regulations, and subsidies are about to kick in. Once these things are in place, there will be little, if any, chance to roll back what is the single largest, most expensive, most disastrous entitlement program in American history. Unfortunately, many Republicans, including Senator Wicker and Senator Con Cochran, come home, come here, and promise you they're doing everything they can to fight to stop Obamacare. We're here saying they haven't, and it's up to them to do so now. We're here calling on Senator Wicker and Senator Cochran to keep their promise to you and to the rest of the nation. They can keep their promise by doing everything they can to stop Obamacare by pledging today that they will fight to defund this monstrosity next month. Senator Wicker and Senator Cochran, Cochran must join Senator Mike Lee, Senator Ted Cruz, Senator Marco Rubio, and those other brave men who have said they will be funded and speak up for the people by not passing a budget that funds Obamacare any longer. Senator Wicker, Senator Cochran, say no to funding Obamacare for once and for all. Senator Wicker, Senator Cochran. Say no to President Obama and his cronies in Washington. Senator Wicker, Senator Cochran, we need you to keep the promise you made to the people of Mississippi. Senator Wicker, Senator Cochran, we need you, we need you to lead the fight to defund Obamacare before it's too late. And Senator Wicker and Senator Cochran, listen to my words very, very carefully. If you fund Obamacare. You own Obamacare. Oh, no. right.